The design and development of cutting-edge armored combat vehicles have historically been associated with the world's superpowers and their formidable warfare industries. Still, small countries worldwide have recently ventured to design their own proposals to take the industry by storm and secure a place in the highly competitive scene. That is the case of Serbia and its relatively small military industry, which is about to launch an ambitious and promising new military asset, the Lazansky Wheeled Armored Combat Vehicle. By developing the innovative 8x8 infantry fighting vehicle, Serbia hopes not only to bolster its internal military forces, but also plans to begin an exporting industry to sell its military crafts to other nations around the world. With a powerful propulsion system, the capacity to carry 10 fully armed soldiers protected under heavy armor, and the addition of the mighty Russian Kinjal turret combat module, Olozansky promises to deliver everything an infantry fighting vehicle needs at a fraction of the cost of other global competitors. Background Founded back in 1949, Yugo Import, a Serbian government military agency, was tasked with acquiring necessary military equipment for the Yugoslav People's Army from countries abroad. Despite the geopolitical disarray in the region, the company was highly successful, and by 1953, it had expanded its scope to export domestic military equipment. The results of their military export plans have been limited, with most of its sales being to less developed countries. Still, one of its most successful exports has been the Lazar series of armored vehicles. The Lazar series is a highly modular solution equipped with different weapon outfits. It entered service with the Serbian Armed Forces in 2008 and has seen limited export success with countries such as Pakistan. The Lozansky Project is the latest installment in the Lazar series. It was initially named after medieval Serbian Emperor Stefan Dusan Silni, but was renamed Lozansky at the last minute to honor the late military strategist, analyst, and diplomat Morislav Lozansky, who passed away in August of 2021. While Lozansky's overall design and functionality were prepared by the Yugo import engineers, some aspects, such as the remote-controlled turret, were imported from Russia. The relations between Serbia and Russia have been the target of significant criticism. Nevertheless, Russia has become a vital partner for Serbia's military industry ambitions. This joint effort has also proven symbiotic, as the Serbian army receives high-tech weapon systems without needing to invest in research and development, while Russia can export its weapons to markets it would otherwise be prohibited from by Western sanctions. Design Lozansky's spacious hull is 8 meters long, 3.2 meters wide, and 2.6 meters high. And including the turret, the vehicle has a total height of 3.6 meters. Due to its modular design, the vehicle platform can be equipped with modular armor protection according to specific operational requirements. Thus, the unit's weight can vary. The lightly armored version weighs 26 tons, while the weight of the Lozansky ACV fitted with heavy armor can reach up to 36 tons. The Lozansky is driven by a 711 horsepower Caterpillar C13 engine connected to a 6-speed Allison 4000 SP automatic transmission. The engine is located on the front right side of the vehicle and is completely enclosed except for a few access hatches with ventilation grills that the crew can use for upkeep. The running gear layout also includes driving axles produced by the Finnish company SISU and a transfer gearbox by Katsu. Some preliminary reports by Russian experts point out that the automotive part of the Lozansky is very similar in configuration and expected performance to the Finnish Patria Armored Modular Vehicle XP. The Lozansky's hull is made of reinforced steel and has a somewhat simple shape, starring flat rear and sides and a slanted frontal plate. The interior arrangement is characteristic of any modern armored vehicle of its kind, with an engine partition at the front right, a driver's section at the front left next to the engine, the combat partition in the middle, and finally, the infantry deployment section at the back of the vehicle.
state-of-the-art features. To adequately operate the Lozansky, a crew of three is needed. The commander, a gunner, and a driver. The driver is located on the left frontal side, with the commander's and gunner's seats placed behind him. To the rear is a sizable infantry dismount compartment, where ten fully armed soldiers can sit in shock-mitigating seats. The soldiers' seats are separated into two rows of five on each side opposite each other. The Lozansky is also equipped with six infrared surveillance cameras, providing its crew a 360-degree field of vision. As additional environmental awareness support, the driver has two mirrors, one placed on each side of the vehicle. As with any other modern vehicle of its kind, the Lozansky is fitted with a wide array of subsystems to guarantee its peak performance. These include an air conditioning unit, intercom, nuclear, biological, and chemical protection, a navigation system, and an automated battle management system. In addition, the vehicle's chassis is assembled from steel, with additional ceramic armor capable of achieving level 5 Stanag 4569A protection that can withstand 25mm projectiles from 500m away and 155mm shell splinters. Meanwhile, the ballistic protection on each unit's flank can feature a Stanag 4569A level 3 protection that can deflect 7.62mm bullets from any distance. If more protection is needed, a modular armor kit can be installed on the unit to boost the ballistic protection to Stanag 4569A Level 6, a shield able to repel 30mm APDS rounds from 500 meters. The Lozansky also has substantial blast protection, thanks to its V-shaped bottom that can sustain up to 10 kilograms of explosions. As an additional defense, the armored vehicle can deploy smoke discharges to conceal and protect its crew and passengers from enemy fire. Armament. The Lozansky is supplied with the Kinjal or Dagger Russian made remote controlled combat module. The standard turret consists of a 57mm 2A91 autocannon with 80 ready to fire 57 by 348mm rounds in the internal storage. Also, the vehicle is armed with a 7.62mm PKTM machine gun with a thousand stored rounds and smoke dischargers as a secondary weapon system. The Russian armament is enhanced by a cutting-edge fire control system with day and night capabilities and panoramic sight. The unit also supports a wide assortment of ammunition types, including HET and APT rounds. In the near future, the manufacturer will add compatibility with 57mm programmable HE rounds and guided rounds for use against airborne targets. Because of Lozansky's modular configuration, the vehicle could be easily fitted with a wide variety of turrets and weapon stations from different manufacturers across the globe. And Serbian military news outlets recently reported that the possibility of arming a Lozansky with a Turkish-made Mizrak 30 turret is under consideration. The price of the Lozansky ACV ranges from two to two and a half million dollars, depending on the armament and configuration. With that price range and the impressive features it possesses, the Lozansky ACV has the potential to position itself as a competitive solution for armored infantry vehicles on the world stage. Still, as promising as the project is, many analysts have shown serious doubts about Serbia's ability to manufacture world-class military equipment. No major export deals have been reached, and the recent animosity of Western nations against Russian exports might seriously cripple the project from entering the global market of military exports. Lozansky's prospects of launching a revolution for Syria and its military industry remain to be seen. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to this and all the other Dark Documentaries channels for more fascinating history and military-inspired content. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. And stay tuned for more.